Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with uh, Julian here. In the last episode, we had uh, a few mishaps, um, mostly related to one of the mods. But in this episode, what I think I'm going to be doing is we are going to be ensuring that in this episode, or more than likely, um, the next episode getting ourselves to Winterhold. We have spent several episodes in Riverwood, several episodes in Whiterun, and we've spent about an episode and a half here in Windhelm, and we are going to be moving on very, very soon, but unfortunately, we can't do that. We can't just, you know, run out of the gate and start heading to winter hold and I'll explain why in the last episode we got right about here and we started freezing to death and that's not good because the path we're going to be taking to winter hold actually follows up that exact same road goes here and it goes up here and unfortunately we're starting to freeze to death right here we're gonna freeze to death two times over here and you know about three times you know four times over all the way over here so if we try to do this trek with our current equipment we will die and that's not good so we are going to go shopping possibly even uh, hunting down bandits in order to look for supplies to survive this trek so I'm going to go around real quick. I'm going to do some shopping, whatever I cannot find. After that, we are going to go and, well, we're gonna hunt down everything we need. So I will be right back after we do some shopping. All right, and we are back. So, as y'all saw, I kind of sped that up real quick, at least I will in the uh, the editing process. I bought Julian here a, uh, a lovely little cloak, a hood to go with it, which I uh, do say it does match fairly well. And I don't know if y'all saw, the keen-eyed viewers will see that our ring here, a magical little ring of blacksmith, actually deposited in our little satchel, steel boots of resist frost. So we have steel boots of resist frost and steel gauntlets of minor alchemy, which we got, you know, way previously. But uh, y'all would have seen that. So yeah, what we are looking for now, which I think we're going to have to go off and find is fur armor. We're looking for a fur armor because fur armor has a very, very high uh, warmth rating. And unfortunately, the blacksmith doesn't sell it, the trader over there doesn't sell it, and I know personally that the uh, the honed metal, apparently you cannot ask of the blacksmith to make fur armor. For some reason, it's just not in the menu. So Julian is actually going to head off somewhere, which he saw in a previous episode, and uh, see if he can't track down, per se, some bandits and get some armor from them. So we're going to head off and do our best to locate some armor from some bandits and y'all will be along for the ride. I've got your back. All right. Just gonna be heading off. There is a little, uh, tiny mine type thing over here that Julian saw. And that is where we're going to be heading. And hopefully we're going to be testing out this cloak as well and seeing how well it uh, provides a little bit of warmth for us see where we're at so far it says we are warm the air 
is frigid and deadly and you are getting colder so that's that's not uh that's not good whoops so we're still heading this way and again hopefully we will be able to last a little bit longer with this cloak and hood I'm gonna equip a quick quarters bodyguard hmm interesting I'm gonna equip this torch and uh, give us a little bit of a warmth that way as well I'm gonna be traveling up this side of this little miniature kind of mountain range I wouldn't necessarily call it a mountain range just very very cliffy very very cliffy because that is a word and if it's not I just made it up we do have some firewood as well right yes 14 14 uh, slices I don't know how do you how do you say it? what it what is individual pieces of firewood called interesting comment below if you if you know the uh, the answer to that individual pieces of firewood all right and uh, you know y'all will likely already know that there is no real way that Julian saw this from where we were although you know I I suppose he could have. But uh, I know where this is. And I figured we would head over here. Figure, you know, Julian's heard. He's heard of this uh, this bandit group that has been terrorizing Windhelm. What on earth? All right, and I got us back to where we were before. We uh, got brutally murdered. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can handle this a little bit more gracefully. Hopefully with Lydia doing her best to not uh, be in direct line of fire of my spells. Alright. So we're going to cast a quick spell. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Dealt with them pretty well. Let's see. I grab that. We don't need that. Let's see what they have. Some uh, seared slaughterfish. Isn't too bad. Ah, we have fur armor, but it's the uh, the half variant. And it's not going to do too well for us. So let us continue to uh, move around and see. That's empty. Let's see what's in here. What's in here? Salt. Always, always take some salt. That's for sure. Uh, see what's in here. All right. So uh, we're going to move as quietly as we can. There's another steel mace. So I'll be taking that. For enchanting practice more than likely Maybe we don't have to buy another steel mace but I will likely end up accidentally selling it <laughs> as is my luck most uh, most times all right so we see Let's pull out our bow So 
So we saw one bandit. Try to try to keep quiet, Lydia. Do your best. I know you're like a friggin' stumbling oaf. But uh do your best, will you? I've never seen anything quite like that. Yeah, yeah. I suppose neither have I. Okay, well, that did not end too well. And you're a dumber, so uh that's not gonna end too well either. And you're a vampire. Let's deal with you first. Okay. So we're we're actually going to put some in health for once. I think that's the first time we've ever actually done that. And could go into conjuration. I don't think so just yet. Actually, let's see what's on restoration. Do restoration mastery, restoration dual casting. Whenever you enter a, uh, whenever you enter combat, rapidly regenerate points of magicka. I think we've already seen that. I don't think we're gonna go into that. Definitely could go into geomancer. What is what is geomancer? If wearing robes and no light or heavy armor, you take 30% less damage from attack while charging or concentrating on a spell. Interesting. And that is useful, because eventually we will not be wearing any sort of armor. The only reason we're wearing armor right now is because it has, you know, fairly useful enchantments, and the enchantments we can make, well, if we could make them, um, are going to be completely piss poor compared to. Scrolls are 2% more powerful or last 4% longer per level of enchanting. That's actually really, really useful. Soul siphon death blows with enchanted weapons to creatures, but not people. Trap 5% of the victim's soul recharging the weapon. Does not apply to staves. Or staves. Whatever, however you want to say it. We are definitely going to be putting it into enchanting, though, because we are, we are going to be a very, very enchanting heavy uh, mage. And we're also going to be casting a uh, healing spell real quick. And I do have a, uh, a mod that I recently installed. I don't know if you can notice, but it makes uh, makes it... I You cannot... So if you go to swing, I am moving my mouse as hard as I can. And you, you just can't, so this is moving normally. And I feel that, that you know, that fits pretty well. You can't, uh, or you shouldn't be able to just swing your short around or swing your, your uh, mace around willy-nilly. And it seems as though, yes, this is what we came for. I would have rathered have a uh, armed version of it. And we're going to we're gonna finish this uh, cave out, so we might end up getting an armed version or a sleeved version but nonetheless that is definitely what we were looking for and what we were searching for so some fur armor bandit whisperer ah okay and then we have a uh, an invisible bandit as well so we're gonna try to bash your face in Alright, brown burlap. Don't really need to worry about that. We're gonna grab that. Is this? No, it's not. But it's something. Drop, drop a quick save real quick. Lydia, I might want to watch out on your arm there, Lydia. Alright, and then we have another bandit around here somewhere. I like the little hatchet. It's it's damage is, is completely, you know, terrible. But nonetheless, I think it's it's really really new, uh, nifty. I like the the design of it. Wow, I was just uh mumbling terribly just then. No, it's ice mage. All right, he is definitely going to be a problem or not I like the or not the or nots are uh, pretty useful uh, whoa definitely be taking the bone meal ah. 
Okay, we want to stay away from his mall. I think Julian's getting pretty darn confident. Nord male, an entire Nord male set. Definitely be taking that. I don't think we're gonna be taking that. That's uh, that's pretty darn heavy. But the rest of it we will take. Yeah, Julian's definitely getting more confident in his uh, skills as not only just a mage, but as an you know, adventurer. He handled himself pretty well there against that bandit chief. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Uh... No, unfortunately, we cannot unlock that. And that does suck, but I, I am going to be sticking to that. You know, Julian is does not uh, know how to use lockpicks, and so we will not be using lockpicks. Oh, you. You silly man. Or woman, I apologize. Uh, Eddie, you're using your your crossbow to, to... Oh, well then. I suppose whenever you're about to die, you do desperate things. So this is not... Ooh, I will take the cheese. And the snowberries. Thank you. Not the carrot. We don't we don't take carrots. That's where I draw the line. Make sure this thing isn't trapped or anything. Seems weird just randomly positioned there. Skiltilating. Blood you can uh, tell me how terribly I uh, pronounce that in the comments. Skiltilating steel cuffed boots. Being struck by a fire, frost, or shock spell or effect reduces damage from that element by 10% for 5 seconds. That would be really, really good as a ooh, potion of glibness. That would be really, really good uh, for like a full robe or something like that. And shit, oh, we'll definitely be taking that. Um, ah, I think we are encumbered. Yes, we are. Oh, unfortunate. Let's see. If we have anything we can dump and yeah, say we can dump that I think we're going to uh, take a swig of water as well mace etiquette how uh, how uh, now I can't think of the word how useful for for Julian. I was gonna say situational, but I, I don't think that's the uh, the proper term. All right, I think is that yeah, that's that seems about it. Let's continue on. See what's in here. Potion of brief brief invisibility. Salt pile, definitely useful. Let's see what's in the uh, the knapsack. Argonian account, we'll take that. Take those. Steel helmet of purification. Another thing from our blacksmith ring, which is extremely useful. And uh, you may be thinking, wow, you know, oh, that's that's super, super overpowered. You know, you, sh you should just sell it. But, I mean, I, I've played Morrowind. I love Morrowind. You should see some of the things you can get and create and Morrowind, if you think this is overpowered, you should just see some of the items you can get in Morrowind. Uh, it's, in, it's insane. It increases the duration of alchemical potions by 20%. Wonderful. Imagine once we get to uh, a... He hello? Um, don't suppose you'd want to take that fire somewhere else, you know? Somewhere away from me? Um. It. It 
You... I just... Her body is lying on the ground. <laughs> All right then, sir. I... Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's actually the, uh... Ooh. Ooh. And now here is where a dilemma is. Which ones do we wear from now on? We use destruction most most yes, yeah, so we're we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch. But oh, oh okay then. Alright. Um I suppose we could have left him alive, but uh I feel like he was kind of just you know baiting us into it. Julian wasn't gonna take any chances. But we are going to craft up some potions real quick, and I will be right back. Got your back. All right, and we're back. We made uh, a lot of potions, um, plenty of which we're going to sell. And it seems as though we've actually encumbered ourselves a little bit. So we're going to see what we can drop again. Seems like we have more than enough of those. And I'm keeping these for our journey as well. So I suppose we can drop one of them. That lowers the thing a little bit. Drop that as well. And that, that lowers it to enough. Seems adequate. And, uh... Now... It seems as though we can come out this way, but Mike, do we go... Is this just out of the cave completely? Or is this the opposite? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Seems like it's just the opposite way of coming into the cave. Alright. Pretty good. Alright. We are going to uh, we're going to end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely did. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click that like button. If you really enjoyed, make sure to click the subscribe button. And I will be back soon with the next one, guys. Cheers.